Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of x dx divided by 1 minus x4, okay? So, this integral you can solve it using the substitution rule. So, if you define x2 as u and take the derivative from each side of this equation, you get 2x dx equal to du, okay? In other words, x dx will be equal to 1 divided by 2 du, okay? So now if you substitute this expression into this integral, you will get, and instead of x dx, here we have x dx, I simply write 1 divided by 2 du, okay? 1 divided by 2 is constant, therefore I took it out of the integral. Divided by 1 minus, instead of x4, I write u2 because x2 is u, therefore x4 is u2, okay? So that will be equal to 1 divided by 2. So from table of integral, we know that the integral of du divided by square root of 1 minus u2 is equal to sine minus 1 u plus c, okay? And, and here all you need to do, you need to substitute the parameter u with uh, this definition, which is x2. So that is that will be equal to 1 divided by 2 sine minus 1. And instead of u, I write x2 plus c. Okay? And that's the solution to this integral. Okay? In case if you don't have access to the table of integral uh, or this is not given to you, you can actually solve this integral as well. So let's let's actually try to solve this integral without the um, without the, basically this information from table of integral that is integral of du divided by a square root of 1 minus u2 is equal to sine minus, minus, uh, sin minus 1 u. So to solve this integral, basically, so now we, we, let's write down this integral one more time, 1 divided by 2, integral of du divided by square root of 1 minus u2, okay? So to solve this integral, uh, you need to again apply the substitution rule. So yeah, let's define u as sinus t, okay? And if you do that, if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, du will be equal to derivative of sine is cosine t times dt, okay? So now if you uh, substitute these two expressions into this integral, you will get 1 divided by 2 times, instead of du, I simply write cosine t dt, okay, divided by a square root of uh, 1 minus u2, and u2 will be equal to sine t with the power of 2, okay, which will be equal to 1 divided by 2, a square root of cosine t dt divided by 1 minus uh, sine square t that will be equal to uh, cosine square t, okay? And we know that uh, the square root of cosine square t uh, will be equal to cosine t dt divided by cosine t, because s square root of cosine s square t is equal to cosine t. Okay, so that cosine is cancelled out by this cosine, therefore, what you get, this will be equal to 1 divided by 2 as the integral of simply dt, okay, which will be equal to 1 divided by 2 times t plus c, because integral of dt is equal to t. Okay, so now what you need to do, you need to substitute this parameter t with this definition. We define u as e equal to sinus t. So from here you can conclude, since u is equal to sinus t, you can conclude that t is equal to sinus minus 1 u. Right? So you need to substitute this uh, expression into this equation. Therefore, this one will be equal to 1 divided by 2 in a set of t. I write sinus minus 1 u plus c. And remember, u we had defined from the very beginning as, as x2, okay? So therefore, this will be equal to 1 divided by 2 sine minus 1 in a set of u. I simply write x2 
plus c and that's the solution to this integral interestingly when you compare this solution with the other one they're exactly the same okay so the first one basically we calculated using the information we may get from the table of integral um, and the second approach basically we calculated the integral of uh, the integral of du over um, 1 divided by 1 minus a square, a square root of du divided by a square root of 1 minus u2 okay so i hope uh, you uh, found this video helpful uh, if you are interested please feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when i upload new videos thank you